Q&A time on the CU podcast. We haven't done a pure Q&A in a while. This is from uh, Brandon Velasquez. He's gotten a few in here and there. <clears throat> Besides Super Mario Brothers, what other retro games would make fun battle royales? We're cheating a bit, but we don't care. We always thought this would be a good topic, and the Patreon folks never thought so. We needed uh, we needed something to fill some time. So for me, it, it uh, the thing that I've always thought of is a uh, battle royale um, shooter. And it, there's already kind of precedent for it. Um, there are games like Twinkle Star Sprites and uh, Rival Mega Gun, which is a more modern one that I really like. That are vertical scrolling shooters, and as you know, it splits the screen in the middle. You're on one side, your opponent, or the computer's on the other side. As you clear chains of um, enemies, it can send um, enemies over to your opponent. You can transform into a boss if you fill up a meter and actually go onto their screen and attack mm -hmm. them. That's something that I think would actually work really, really well. Uh, you could scale that up to, you know, 99 people or 100 people very easily, I think. Same sort of things where you can attack someone maybe who has more most power-ups at the time or most, <laughs> most uh, I, you know. Do it whatever. similar to like Mario 35 or uh, um, Tetris 99. Yeah, where you can, you know, you flick the joystick to choose whether or not you want it for yeah, more power-ups, one one hit of shield remaining, et cetera. You can kind of focus in on Is what it you're doing. A little, would it not work just quite as well because in those shooters, if they're on rails, you're not going at your own pace. So like <laughs> if you put 35 guys on the screen in Super Mario Brothers, you could deal with it. 35 guys on the screen in Gradius, you're, you're toast. You know, you can't get around it. Maybe well, that, that's to... why it's usually, it's not, it, it's usually every chain of enemies you kill usually sends something. So, so you gotta kill like five guys I'll send like maybe one Right, or... exactly. Yeah. Okay, you would, you, you would have you to, to balance it a bit. You would definitely have to balance it a bit, especially okay. with a ton of players to not, yeah, not completely make it unplayable. Okay. So, yeah, I think that that's, that's the one for me. Um, other uh, ones, I... Hey, I, we just wrote it up. <clears throat> How about do it with Doom? Yeah, that would be that would be outstanding would for be a, a first-person shooter like that. That would be quick too. <laughs> that would be very. Fast. So you all start at the same level. <clears throat> you pick a level, and then you whatever you shoot, that enemy. Ooh, I, now I want to see that. That would be incredible. A game like that, because then it's more risk reward. Hey, I'm gonna go for the uh, what's the spider guy with the with the chain gun. I'm gonna go try to kill him. Was so someone if that pops up somewhere else, they're gonna shred that guy. But it's risky to try to kill him. You know. For a first-person shooter, I think that could be a lot more risk-reward than even Super Mario Brothers sure. for a game like that. Well, I'm salivating at, at that intermittent fasting. I, I want I want that done officially. You hear that, id? I want yeah. that done. I'm wearing, wearing. I'm not wearing a sweatshirt this time, but if I was, it would give me more more power and weight behind those words. Um, I think Ninja Gaiden would be fantastic to do it, or Contra, or you know, action platformer. Oh, Contra would be a lot of fun to do. In that Mario thirty five sort of way, you already have yeah. the power up system. Mm -hmm. You can so you can you can uh, do a random thing. Maybe you get the spray gun, maybe you get the laser, you, you, and it, you, it's manageable because it's go at your own pace. Unlike a shooter, so like yeah, if you just throw fifty guys at, on the screen, you can fend them off in contra without moving forward. You could do it. Yeah. It'll be it tougher, but you could try. Yeah, stand your ground. I'll send the big the big guy throwing the frisbees at you, the big neon boss, you know, from, mm -hmm. from the energy field at you. See how you deal with them. That would be interesting. I want to see that too. Let's let's get that done. Ninja Gaiden would be interesting because you can easily get overwhelmed in Ninja Gaiden versus Contra, even by standard enemies. Oh yeah, that freaking that creepy witch or whatever throwing the crosses at you. Yeah, I hate that thing. <clears throat> you get three on one screen, you're dead. Like you're done. Yeah, <laughs> you're done. You get knocked back considerably. I think you would have to Ninja Guy would almost you would almost have to get rid of all the chasms and pitfalls, or else it wouldn't be playable. You can you, there's a way to do it. You have to really alter the stages. Contra you don't have to as much. There's a lot less pitfalls in Contra than Ninja Guy. I think to deal with, I think you'd be in better shape uh, there. Um, w w does a driving game make sense to do it with? I was trying to actually think of how you would do that. I mean, Mario Kart is you're basically that's Royale anyway when you think about it. Uh, you could do like a time attack one, but I don't know how you would, you know, you could shave people off as they miss time, as as they miss uh, checkpoints, but I'm trying to figure out, I, I, I haven't thought of a good way to make it, 
make your run interact with someone else's run. That's what I haven't figured out. What are you going to do? Send over oil slicks? I, I don't know. Oh, it's, I was looking at Spy Hunter. Yeah, so Spy Hunter, <laughs> it, it, has, it has to be action-oriented. Yes. I think it has to be, like, not a finish line. It, does. it has yeah. to be you will die. So Spy Hunter, yeah, you know, if I, if I run a, a um, bulletproof bully off the road, he shows up. Tire Slasher, he shows up. Yeah, that would be that fun. would get That would get frenzied pretty quickly. But there's almost not enough. It would, it would be too quick though you'd have to find you'd have to find that perfect balance uh i think i think a game like like you can say like a shooter you can do it properly if you do it a game like contra you have to have power-ups reasonable a reasonable amount of defense and i guess if you want to say one hit kills makes it better ninja gaiden is not one hit kill so it, you would still get worn down pretty freaking quickly though ninja gaiden yeah 